today's lesson, we are going to learn about additional formula. And from the additional formula, I will show you how to get your double angle formula and also half angle formula. So for additional formula, we start from sine. So for sine A plus and minus B, then you will get sine A cos B plus and minus cos A sine B, which means that when you have positive here, A plus B, then you will pair with the positive. When you have negative here, then you will pair with negative value, negative sign. Which means that when you have sine A plus B, then you will have sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. While you, when you have sine A minus B, then you will have sine A cos B minus cos A sine B. Okay, well for your cos, when you have cos A minus B, then you will get cos A cos B negative positive. So it will be different with the sign, which when you have cos A plus B, will be equal to cos A cos B minus sine A sine B. If you have cos A, a minus b then you will have equal to cos a cos b plus sine a sine b okay means your positive will pair with negative and your negative will pair with positive so for your tangent a plus b then the numerator will have positive negative while for denominator will have negative positive so which means that tangent A plus B, tangent A plus B will be equal to tangent A plus tangent B divided by 1 minus tangent A, tangent B. If you have tangent A minus B, then you will have tangent A minus tangent B divided by 1 plus tangent A tangent B. So this is your additional formula. So you have to memorize this three, then we will start with your double angle formula and half angle formula. So now, we start with how to get your double angle formula. So double angle formula means that you added up two angles which is in this, with the same value. In other words, you have sine A plus sine A. Means you added up two angles with same value, so you will get sine A plus sine A, which is equal to sine 2A. Okay, so when you have sine A plus sine A, plus a which is equal to sine 2a so according to your additional formula sine a plus a will be equal to sine a cos a plus cos a sine a because now all your big angle will become a angle a so when you have sine a cos a plus cos a sine a so it will be equal to 2 sine a cos a because both the sequence between your cos a and sine a it doesn't matter because it is actually multiplication so you will get 2 sine a cos a so in other words when you have sine 2a you will get 2 sine a cos a so this is your first double angle formula okay well for your cos a plus a so in other words when your cos a plus a will be equal to cos 2a so cos 2a you will get cos a multiplied by cos a minus sine a multiplied by sine a means all your b angle will be changed into angle a so cos a 
times cos A, you will get cos square A. While for sine A times sine A, you will get sine square A. So in other words, cos 2A, your double angle will be equal to cos square A minus sine square A. So this is your second double angle that involved with cos 2A. And this double angle will further derive into another two formula with the help of your basic identities. So from your basic identity, so we revive with our basic identity. Okay, for basic identity, you have sine square A plus cos square A equal to 1. So means that you can rewrite your equation this identity of your uh, basic identity which sign in term of cos or cos in term of sine. So when you want to write sine a in term of cos a, so it will be written as sine square a equal to 1 minus cos square a. Well, if you want to rewrite it as cos square a, then you will be cos square a equal to 1 minus sine square a. So from these two basic identities, so we substitute into this equation or this double angle formula, then we will get another two double angle formula in terms of your cos 2a. So first, when your cos 2a is equal to let your cos square a become 1 minus sine square a. Means that now this one will change into 1 minus sine square a. Your cos 2a become 1 minus sine square a. And don't forget about your sine square a. So when you have negative sine square a, minus sine square a means your cos 2a will become 1 minus 2 sine square a. So this is another double angle formula for your cos 2a. Okay. The third one for your cos 2a which you substitute your sine square a become 1 minus cos square a which your equation from here will become cos square a minus substitute this sine square a become 1 minus cos square a so you will get something like this so open bracket so you will get cos square a minus 1 plus cos square a. Then cos square a plus cos square a, you actually get 2 cos square a. So you have 2 cos square a minus 1 for your cos 2a. So this is your fourth double angle formula and also your third double angle formula for your cos to A. Of course, you have your tangent A plus A. If you have your tangent A plus A, so this one will become tangent to A. So don't forget about your tangent 2a, which is a plus a. So this equation will be rewrite as tangent a plus tangent a divided by 1 minus tangent a times tangent a because all your b angle will become angle a. So this equation for the numerator 
tangent A plus tangent A will become 2 tangent A. Okay. Well, for your new denominator, will be 1 minus tangent A times tangent A will become tangent square A. So, this one is your double angle formula for your tangent to A. So, there are four formula for your double angle formula. So, now, let's do the half angle formula from the double angle formula. So, when you have your double angle, which is sine to A, equal to 2 sine A, cos A. Okay? This one is your double angle. So, half angle means your 2A is divided by 2. So, this angle will become sine A. Because 2A divided by 2 will become half of your 2A. So, this which we call as half angle. So, when all this divided by 2, and this also divided by 2, this also divided by 2, means all the angle divided by 2. So, your double angle formula will become sine A equal to 2 sine A per 2 cos A per 2. So, this one, we call it as half angle formula. So for the other three, four double angle, so we will get another four half angle formula. So we start with cos 2a. So when you have cos 2a equal to cos square a minus sine square a. So each of this angle is divided by 2. So, your angle will become cos square A per 2 minus sine square A per 2 for your new cos A. So, this is your second half angle formula. Well, for your cos 2A, it's further you can be write as 1 minus 2 sine squared A. So due to every angle is divided by 2, so this one A will also divide by 2. So your cos A will be equal to 1 minus 2 sine square A divided by 2. This is your second half angle for your cosine. Well, the third one is 2 cos square A minus 1. So this angle is due to the angle is divided by 2. So it becomes a half angle as cos A equal to 2 cos square A a per 2 minus 1. So this one is your third angle for your cos A. The last one for your half angle formula, which is this one, in terms of tangent 2A is equal to 2 tangent A divided by 1 minus tangent square A. So when each of this angle divided by 2, so all the angle divided by 2, so you get your half angle formula. So tangent 2A divided by 2, all the angle divided by 2, so you will get your half angle formula, which is tangent A equal to 2 tangent A per 2 divided by 1 minus tangent square A Two. So this is your last half angle formula. So today we are going we already learned um three types of 
formula which is additional formula double angle formula and half angle formula so all of this you have to uh, remember so for your important formula is actually addition formula so just you need to learn how to develop your double angle formula from your additional formula and also your half angle formula from your double angle formula okay that's it for today